What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Leah, back with another video. Today, we are in Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm not sure if I posted a video in Raleigh before. I'm pretty sure I haven't reviewed any there. But today, we are going to be reviewing a single family residence. It is on 0.4 acres or a 0.4 acre lot. It was built in 1928. 1928. So she's old. She's old. Okay. <laughs> But the 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 front picture really 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 caught my eye. So I'm not even gonna sit here and act like I don't like it already. This house is three bed, three bath, and it is listed for almost 1.7 million. It is one million six hundred and ninety five thousand dollars to be exact, and it is three thousand one hundred and sixty four square feet. So before I hop into the review, guys, please understand that I am a North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and Georgia real estate professional. And none of these comments are made with any ill intentions towards anybody that is associated with this transaction. So please do not take them to heart. Okay. Also, if you guys need any assistance buying, selling, or investing in any of your real estate needs, make sure to go ahead and reach out to me. I will leave my contact information down below. It will be in my description and my email should either be here or here. You can reach out to me there as well. I don't care if you are in Wyoming. I can still help you. So without any further ado... Let's go ahead and hop into the review, y'all. I'm actually really excited to see the inside of this house. There's a lot of greenery. Y'all know how your girl feels about the greenery, okay? Okay, so here is the house. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I'll probably be afraid of the, all the bugs. There might be a lot of bugs, but you can't tell me this isn't beautiful. Like, I know you can barely see the house, but all of the bushes, the trees, and things like that, like, you don't see this in Charlotte. You don't see this in Charlotte. You don't see this in any of the homes that I've reviewed in Baltimore. You may see this in a very, 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 very expensive house in DC. But this, this is gorgeous. Like I would come here and just sit out and be like, look at all my trees, look at all my bushes. Like I can't, I can't even imagine what the landscaping team thinks when they come. Where do we start? That's probably what they think. And I love the brick. I love the exterior. Like, I'm not even going to sit here and act like I don't like it. I love the brick. I'm a fan of brick anyway, but this style of brick, chef's kiss. We got 56 pictures to go through, so I'm going to try not to do too much. I'm sure that they have to maintain these bushes very, very consistently because my mom had bushes like this when I was growing up and they got humongous. She ended up having to cut them because they got so big. Oh, look how beautiful. You can't tell me this isn't nice, y'all. Like, honestly, who wouldn't like this? You got big trees next to it. It looks like there's even like a little sitting area on the side. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Is that a piece of the property? That is so nice. You got a little sit down area. Do you know how long I would sit out there? The mosquitoes probably would tear me up because I would be out there for so long. Gorgeous walk uh, entrance. Gorgeous first entrance. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm loving it. Ooh. okay you know whatever whatever i'm gonna try not to let the outside cloud my judgment okay this home was built in the early 1900s so i feel like it looks good from this first picture the floors have got to be original i highly doubt that those are renovated floors or new floors this how it looks expensive like it looks like it it is worth a good amount of money it definitely definitely looks like it they have this like carpeting or this type those types of rugs everywhere it's like the same pattern on each rug <laughs> i don't dislike it though i bet you those stairs are super slippery they got their like you know little cool paintings and stuff oh this person has like has they have a different type of taste with them it looks like they're definitely like a lover of art this wall has some texture on it so you know, I would be probably interested to know like what kind of what kind of walls or what material the walls are made out of. It looks like even the ceiling is some type of texture. Usually all we see is popcorn ceiling. That's not popcorn. Chandelier. I mean, I'm not like crazy about that lighting, but you know, whatever. They even have they have a fireplace. They got they have it, you know, uh, covered. So try to prevent as many things from entering as possible. They have a I think that those like these things right here. I'm pretty sure those are from China or Japan. From, from, from you know, Asia somewhere. 
I'm pretty sure if I'm being if I'm ignorant to that and I'm not correct, please educate me because I love to learn about new things. Like it's it's crazy. Like when you're looking at real estate or when you're in real estate, you learn so many different things from so many different people. And I feel like I try to soak in as much as I can. So if you guys ever notice anything in these videos where, you know, there's something that I'm potentially like incorrect about, please let me know because I want to be educated and, you know, know about certain things, especially when it comes to like things like these. But I feel like if it, it, those are from what I have experienced in life, it comes from Asia, the continent. So if I'm wrong, please educate me. Okay, this is, I mean, the room is kind of tight, you know what I mean? Considering the house is about 3,000 square feet, you know, this room, the room is kind of tight, but, and then we only have three beds, three baths to look at. So hopefully the bedrooms and the bathrooms are a decent size. Okay, this person is definitely like has a bunch of culture associated with them just in general. You can tell by the way that they have like different things. Looks like there's even like a potential, like a, a statue here. There's a, that, I think that's called a grandfather clock. So you can tell that this person is definitely like a collector of, of things. Okay. Then, I mean, the walls and the ceilings are definitely textured. So I don't know what type of material it could be, but there's definitely texture on them. And they, um, they definitely got it painted. Got a dining area. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and act like I like chandeliers in general. I just feel like it's like a little bit too much. I like more modern types of lighting, but I think that depending on the person, that type of lighting, they probably wouldn't mind it. I'm just not like a huge fan of it. They got the crown molding. They have double doors. I feel like perspective is, is our biggest enemy when it comes to viewing houses because it makes things look either longer or shorter or bigger or smaller than what they really are so you really don't know what it's like until you actually go see it if you guys ever want to view any of the houses that i reviewed go ahead and reach out to me and um, i will schedule showings for you we can go ahead and look at some and get you started on the home buying process but i mean this isn't this isn't terrible i feel like i'm i'm ex i wouldn't expect for it to look i wouldn't expect for it to look any other type of way considering the age Okay, we got some purple. Okay. The floors are all wood. I'm, I'm happy about that. Like, you don't see any uh, carpet. Because if you saw a carpet in a home this old, it probably wouldn't be. Unless it was brand new carpet. But I feel like the wood floors are, like, timeless. I wouldn't even want to cover those up. So, another living area. So, that's two living areas that we've seen. And this one is extremely small. It has shelving. They have, like, you know, antique dishes or collectible dishes on theirs. Some people might put books on them. Okay, I don't dislike this room. I hope, uh-uh. Okay, I'm really hoping that this kitchen is just giving us a little peek right now and that it gets bigger. Not a fan of the cabinets at all, okay? Wow, the kitchen is actually super small. And I don't, I, okay, I mean, the ceiling isn't too bad. I probably would end up getting rid of the cabinets or getting them painted, one or two. The kitchen is small though. Like, I feel like you could barely turn around in there. I have never seen a triple sink, like ever. Like you see things, you see different things every day, man. Honestly, as I review these homes, it's like, man, <laughs> nothing seems to surprise me anymore. I like the, I do like the back, the backsplash. I think that's nice. It's, it's nice that there's like a window there. You can enjoy all that greenery that you have. They do have some modernized lighting on the, the ceiling. So, I mean, I don't dislike the kitchen. I just feel like the cabinets are kind of, it's just making it a little bit too much wood. I feel like I would probably replace those cabinets with something a little bit more modern and then keep the wood floors, keep the wood ceiling. And I would replace the the uh, sink too. I would I would make the sink something else. Wait, what is this? Well, maybe it isn't a triple sink. Now I can't say what it is and what it isn't because I've never seen a sink like this before. So, okay, so we're finally in a bathroom. This bathroom has a lot of character, has some huge mirrors. Okay, and I know my OG people that have been watching the majority of my videos, you guys are going to be like, no, Aaliyah, you said that you like mirrors that you want to see all of you, but this is too big. This is too big, man. Like, 
<laughs> Y'all are going to be like, Aaliyah, no, because every single time you see a small mirror, you're always fussing about it needs to be bigger. But this is just a little bit too much. I don't want to be seeing myself when I use the bathroom. I was talking about like on over top the sink. Okay, so this is the first bedroom that we've seen so far. Yeah, you know, it's, it's nothing like out of the ordinary. I feel like they probably did replace this this floor though. It doesn't look the same as the wood that's in the other rooms. The bathrooms are so tight. Where is where is all the space? Where is all the space at? Oh, they have like top cabinets in the bathroom. That's nice. Never thought about that. That's nice though. I like that. But the why are they so tight though? I would have wanted to see like the the inside of the shower, honestly. Or if there's a tub, got a walk-in closet, gorgeous walk-in closet. I don't dislike it. So most of the room went to the closet. Is that what you're telling me? Another room, a regular room. Can barely see like really anything that's going on with the room because they, they, there's this huge carpet or a huge rug. Another bathroom. I cannot stand when they put marble. Like I feel like marble is okay for some things or in small portions. But to make, I've seen homes that have had marble literally everywhere. I feel like people are overdoing it. Like this, this is like, this decent, but I, I'm not a fan of the marble. You can keep the marble, honestly. And then there's also a textured or a patterned floor as well. A little bit too much for my liking. They have a updated mirror here because there's like a, there should be like a little, a touch point on the mirror where you turn it on and off at or you might just use a switch. My, I sold a house that had a mirror like that and it, we had to touch the mirror to turn it on. You would flip the switch, then you would, you could, you have to make sure the switch is on and then you hit the button. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's just, the home I feel like it's just a little bit too, this is too small to be trying to do all of these like luxury type of things with. If you're going to renovate the bathroom and, and put modern, like things like marble i guess that would be considered modern in this type of house at this age i feel like you just need to redo the entire bathroom like something about just the the it just looks a little bit just dingy just a tiny bit another bedroom regular you know okay we have an attic i would assume hmm. doesn't look like it's like necessarily too finished yeah this is an attic it could it, it's a lot of potential up there though for sure there's a lot of potential you just have to lay down some flooring Okay, so either downstairs or basement, you know, that's fine. I don't see anything wrong with this area at all. I cannot stand when they have tiling on the ceiling. Please get rid of that. Like, it reminds me of school every single time. Every single time I see something like that, it reminds me of school. Okay, another area, they turned it into like a small gym type thing or a workout area. So, I mean, there's plenty of spots that you could enjoy in the home. But by far, my favorite so far for this house is the outside. Like, I mean, the inside is just like, whatever. Like, you know, like there's nothing really in this house that's like, ooh, you know what I mean? Nothing really stands out to me that much in this house. I think that this bathroom is pretty nice. This bathroom is interesting, but... It looks like it's only a half bath. At first, I thought that it was going to be a three, ba three bed, three full baths, but it looks like it's two full baths and one half bath. So this bathroom, I mean, is definitely going to be a conversation starter for your guests that go use it. But I'm not necessarily like a huge fan of it. I do think that it is, you know, it it's an acquired taste. But and I really don't like this bathroom. I feel like they just need to get rid of this floor or get rid of the marble get rid of get rid of one of them it's too many patterns going on now sometimes some people can make it work some interior designers can make it work but i personally don't really like it i would also remove this i would replace that carpet that's on the stairs i don't like that okay yeah you got a, you, the 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 outside is definitely it looks very relaxing i feel like the majority of my time would probably be spent out there or if someone moved in here, they probably would spend the majority of their time out here. Oh, okay, there's a deck. So this definitely still creates that, what I said earlier, that the outside is my favorite part. I am from Louisa County, Virginia. So anybody that knows me, you know that where I grew up at, I like to see trees. You know what I mean? Where I'm from, when I was younger, I could walk around barefoot. I can't do that where I live at now. 
but this reminds me this doesn't necessarily remind me of where i grew up at or remind me of like my childhood but i feel like i wouldn't be afraid to walk around with minimal covering on my shoes on my feet you know so this is nice i do really really like this i think it's really nice this is gorgeous right here like this is like an oasis almost like i could see my mother sitting out here like enjoying her coffee and things i mean there's not a lot of space to necessarily run out run around at but for like children and stuff but i do think it is really nice i like this touch i think that they really spent they, they, they spent a lot of their creative direction out on the probably on the outside of the house i like all of the stone details yeah all of this is gorgeous this is all gorgeous oh there's a little stream Ugh, chef's kiss for sure i mean if i had to rate this house out of 10 i probably would give it about a four at the max of five only because i really like the outside but the inside was not really like uh it didn't really give me like a sense of like oh ah, type thing you know I feel like the inside is probably going to need like, you know, someone to come in and put their special touch on there and make it into something, you know what I mean? More like, like I like appealing to the eye. I just didn't like it necessarily, but I do like the outside of the house a lot. I like all the greenery. I like the stone that the house is made out of. Like, I really do like the house from the outside, just the inside is throwing me off. So apparently... I wouldn't, you know, most people are not going to buy a house to stay on the outside of it. So the inside of the house is very important. That's why I gave it the four. But if I had to just rate on the outside, it would, it would probably be on the higher end. But anyways, guys, I appreciate each and every single one of you for tuning into this video. You guys are amazing. Please make sure to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel. If you guys need any assistance buying, selling, or investing in any of your real estate transactions, make sure to go ahead and reach out to me. I will leave my contact information down below. Like I said earlier, my email will either be here or here, and you can definitely utilize that. Reach out to me, and I will do whatever I can to help you. Thank you guys again, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next video.